Uh, hey everybody, so this is a, I'm going to try and make this a fairly quick demo slash tutorial about One Point Perspective. Um, I know there are plenty of awesome One Point Perspective tutorials already on YouTube and across the internet in general, but um, I just figured for you guys directly it would be, it would help to have a video that's coming straight from me where you can hear my voice, my approach. Um, to this genre of technical drawing. So there's two boxes right here. Obviously this is labeled two point. That's gonna be for a separate video. Um, I'm gonna do a mini series of perspective drawing videos. So let's focus on this box up top. Um, as far as materials, I'm using an HB pencil. I'd probably be using an F or an H if I was doing a full-fledged um, perspective slash technical drawing just because it's a lighter uh, lead but in order for you guys to see what I'm doing I decided to go with an HB. You certainly can if you want but I think lighter pencil is better because you do a lot of erasing in technical drawing. Um, I'm using this uh, ruler it's got some cork to the backs for grip um, and you know stainless steel in the front easy to wash. Do you need something like this? No. You could certainly use the edge of a table, for instance, or, um, I don't know, you could use a folder, edge of a notebook, something like the edge of this watercolor container. You can get pretty creative with um, the lack of a ruler, right? Um, so what I'm going to do first is establish a uh, horizon line. So the horizon line is essentially your eye level, where you would look as the viewer, but it's also where the sky would meet the ground. Okay, so think of a, well, think of a sunset or a sunrise over the water, right? Um, in one point perspective drawing, you have one vanishing point. This vanishing point sits on the horizon line as if the horizon line is traveling through it, like it's a bead on a piece of string. Um, now I'm gonna do a lot of freehanding. If you watch me, if you're, you're gonna be watching me do straight lines or lines freehand, okay? I'm comfortable doing that. They're not gonna be perfectly straight, of course, but I am used to creating those lines, okay? I would recommend you as a beginner, if you are a beginner or somebody that's doing this again after a long time, use a ruler, okay? Um, so the first thing I'm going to establish is a road or a path. So essentially this is a road traveling into perspective, right? I could make this I don't know, a series of train tracks, if I wanted. Right, <clears throat> so that's probably the simplest thing one could draw in one point perspective. Beyond that, I would say everything starts more or less with a box. So. This is going to sound more sculptural than drawing, but I believe drawing at its most advanced levels is more like sculpture than it is something that's two-dimensional and flat. So I'm making another path here, another road, but instead of uh, creating a set of railroad tracks or a dirt path or something, I'm making a box. So a box, a cube, um, is six sides and it's six squares. So I'm creating the bottom square in perspective, okay? These lines will always be parallel to the horizon line. These lines are lead lines, meaning they lead to the vanishing point. And this is what creates the illusion, helps create the illusion of perspective. That's why this square looks like it's in perspective. 
That's why the sides of these rail tracks look like they're in perspective. Now beyond that, if we were to make this cube, what I'm going to do is draw these lines, these vertical lines going up. They're about the same height, just from guesstimation, right? Now, it looks like an upside down table. That's kind of what you want in the beginning of constructing a box. After that, it's a matter of connecting the table legs together. Same idea, top horizontal lines here stay parallel to the horizon line. These two lines go to the vanishing point, okay? Or at least this one does. This one goes to the horizon line, but you don't need for it to touch the vanishing point. This can just sit, uh, sorry, this, this line can just connect these two posts, okay? It still has the illusion of a box going into uh, the vanishing point, or a box in perspective. Um, anything beyond that, like cast shadows, for instance, those may or may not have to follow the rules of perspective. Okay. Um, one last thing, since I drew a box on the ground, so to speak, I want to show you that the same is possible in the sky. Now, some people would just flip the page upside down, which actually is a pretty clever method. Um, can't say I've never done that. But if you were to keep things right side up, the same rules apply in the sky. shadow under here okay vertical lines stay vertical okay use the sides of your page or your paper or your box as a guide vertical lines in one point perspective and in two point perspective for the most part stay vertical okay so that's a quick little demonstration on one point perspective just using boxes